2022 will be, however, the warmest year on record for the UK. That's according to provisional figures from the Met Office. The annual average temperature across the country will have exceeded the previous record set in 2014. That was almost 10 degrees centigrade. So the record figure coincides with fresh warnings that parts of the UK will see ice, heavy rain and potential flooding in the next few days. Joining me to discuss this and the year in weather is Jim Dale. He's a senior meteorologist at British Weather Services and a friend of the channel as well. Jim, what's in store for us then? What's coming round the corner? Because we're hearing things like it's the hottest year on record and then I'm reading out that we're all expecting a load of ice. Yeah, it's not. It's good afternoon, Patrick. It's uh, it's kind of normal this time of year to get a bit of yeah. ice, isn't it, and a bit of snow, uh, especially Scotland Way, which is basically where that's got where that's going to be. The rest of us are going to be in the the tram lines from the Atlantic, picking up the uh, the the reservoirs that are out there of rain drizzle. Uh, we get the occasional light tomorrow. Won't be too bad a day for most of us. Uh, but look, we're in the conveyor belt, so that's what we can expect now until the end of this particular year. And as you just mentioned the warmest on average on record. Uh, so this is a bad day for mm. climate change denialists. And so uh, I'm quite happy about today, you know, in a, in, a strange, in a strange way. Well, I did wonder, actually, whether or not people who do bang on rather a lot about climate change secretly quite want there to be very, very extreme climate disasters so it proves them to be right, Jim. Um, not really, no. It's it's just the result of it. If you if you see what I'm trying to say. Now, look, every everything that happens in terms of disasters, in terms of weather related, isn't all down to climate change. You've got to join the dots. I always say this. It's it's one of those things. Even what's happening in the United States. Um, it's not necessarily a climate event on its own. We've had cold spells before, freezing spells, but that one uh, arguably is unprecedented in terms of the depth of it. The the, the the degree, the snow that's involved in places like Buffalo. But ourselves, if we're look, looking back at 2022, I've kind of broke it back into three three sections. So if I can just sort of uh, give you that one. Um, 2022, uh, January and February, we're looking at the storms. Storm Malik, Storm Corrie, Storm Dudley, Storm Eunice, the big one. Oh, um, and nice. Storm Franklin and then followed by Storm Gladys. That was all between the 28th of January and the 23rd of February. These are all named storms. Now, Eunice was the biggie. You're showing some nice pictures at this moment in time. Uh, 122 miles per hour recorded. The the, the, the largest gust recorded in England uh, was at the Needles, actually, that little thing that's that point that sticks out on the Isle of Wight. Um, sadly, it did kill four people and 360 million pounds worth of damage. Uh, not just ourselves in the UK, but beyond that into, into uh, Europe as well, many parts of Europe. And right, it's tail storm Franklin, floods occurred. Um, you know, it, it was the conveyor belt, not quite the conveyor belt we'll see at this moment in time. It was a lot worse than that, uh, feeding that stuff in. So, no, we don't look forward to this. We warn about this. This is what climate denial denialists basically hang off that they say it's just a weather event and we get used to it and all the rest of it but no one after another after another and as you just mentioned about the temperature profile there i say the next section i'm going to look at is the summer can you forget that one uh 28th of july record temperature 40.3 degrees are on old money as our government likes to go back to uh, 104.5 degrees f uh, that was in Coningsby in Lincolnshire, um, and we all know about the extended uh, drought that occurred roughly from June all the way through August time, even though the spring was, was drought as well in the south. And then we had those uh, wildfires to follow as well. We don't often see wildfires. We see heath fires occasionally in places mm. like the Pennines. But for me, wildfires, in all my time as a meteorologist, I don't, I've never seen them in this country, and to see those houses ablaze in, in parts of the southeast was incredible, to say the least. Um, and then we finished off with the troll from Trondheim, as you'll remember quite nicely. Yes. Because I named it. Yes, you got you it. You named it. Uh, exactly, yes, exactly. Well, well, well done. Yeah, thank you. I mean, it was well in advance. I'm not saying that was necessarily a climate change event, mm. but when you put all of these things together, 
And then you look back at the last decade or the last 15 years and say 10 of those 10 of those years have been the warmest on record. And here we are now. The Met Office suggesting that this one is is the top of the of the shop. And then you look globally because you have to. You can't just look at this and say, oh, it's just the UK and we're having a bad moment or a, a bad couple of years. You've got to look at other places. So the Pakistani floods, for example, mm -hmm. glaciers melting in the Himalayas. It took time to, to, to occur, but when it did, it was devastating and many, many lives lost. As I say, join the dots around the globe. And that, I'm going to say to you, Patrick, that's going to continue in, in 2023. The Met Office have already said, not just the Met Office, the World Meteorological Organization, the same, saying it will be another very hot year. and We have to stand by for the kind of things that we've seen in 2022.